Hi everyone. I made a different kind of ice cream um, that I've never made before. Now I made this same ice cream last night, but I didn't scope it because of what was going on in Chicago. So since they had the testimonies on in Chicago last night, I decided to wait until I could do it tonight. So this is the same ice cream that I made for myself last night. Welcome to everybody coming in. And I will turn the um, I will turn it around and I'll show you what the ice cream looks like and I will show you exactly I'll tell you exactly what it has in it. Okay, this has, of course, the regular banana. Um, welcome to Periscope for the very first time. It has banana in it. It has mangoes, pineapples, strawberries, and papaya. It has, it, it, and, and that's the tropical fruit. And look how thick it really is. And it's, oh, it does. Doesn't it, though, Alexis? It looks very good. And, of course, I put the um, peanut butter powder in it, and I also, and I, put, and I found some, um, 100% organic maple syrup. I put that in for flavoring. Oh, yes, it is a pretty color, isn't it, Early? And it really is pretty black. I said, I had this ice cream last night, and it is absolutely delicious. Oh, you've been on a mission trip with your mom? Well, welcome back, Jonathan David. Um, oh, yeah, I do, too. Yes, it is my meal, because I had a big lunch, and this is my supper time. It's hot here, and this is my meal. This will actually fill me up. Look how much is in this bowl. Yeah, doesn't it though, Millie? I think it is. It's delicious. Um, well, hi, Richard. I didn't see you there. This is my uh, tropical fruit ice cream. Oh, you're losing on the vegan. Yeah, I'm losing a little bit too. It's going it's going off slow, but it is going off, you know. And like I said, this ice cream has mangoes in it, um, papaya, strawberry, and uh, pineapple. Plus, I put a banana, fresh, fresh organic uh, banana, and... Uh, some frozen bananas as well. Hi, Ju hi, Richard. Good to see you. Oh yeah, isn't that a pretty color? I mean, look at that. Yes, isn't that? Look at that. And look, and I didn't have to add any rice dream or anything to it since I had put a fresh banana. My finally, my organic bananas are finally, finally turning ripe now. I bought them really green, so it's been a while. So they're finally ripening up that I can use them. So I thought, well, I'll put a fresh one in there. That way, I won't have to put any rice dream or anything in. I put no sugar or anything in it, of course. And I just used the uh, peanut butter powder and the organic 100% uh, maple syrup. Um, I have, I will show you my machine. Um, it is a Ninja. That's what I have is the Ninja. This is the container. I've got to wash it out. It's been sitting in water. But this is the container that goes on it. That's what I mix it in. Um, yeah, they do. That, yes, they do. And they have a different flavor to them early. And I found that out. A lot different flavor. And uh, you buy them really green. You buy regular bananas really green. Well, then in a couple of days, they're already ready to go throw, be thrown away almost. So, uh, but these are lasting quite. I've had these probably over two weeks. And they're just now, you can see that they're just fi finally turning a little bit. They were really a deep green, but they're finally beginning to get ripe. So, it's, it's been a while. But I finally was able to use the first one. But anyway, this is the, this is the ice cream that I made for myself last night. You didn't scope it because of of a forerunner them being in Chicago and I wanted to watch that. So I thought that was important too. So I thought, well, I'll make it again tonight so you guys can see what I did. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Um, no Bible News Radio. Well, hi, Stacy. Good to see you. Um, yeah, this is uh, my tropical fruit ice cream. It's, uh, it's a healthy indulgence and it won't make me fat. I am losing weight on it. It's got... Uh, regular bananas in it. I put that in there first and then it's got uh, mango, strawberry, papaya, and pineapple as the frozen fruit, as the uh, tropical fruit. It's a bag of frozen fruit. I just put in there what I want. So I think it all looks very, very... Uh, it took me a little time to mix it because the strawberries didn't want to mix up too well and I probably should have cut them up. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, yes, it is, Lisa. Very good. It's. I mean, I had it last night. It was delicious. It filled me up. I had to eat it kind of slow because I was trying to get brain freeze, but You'd be surprised. Make your own. You can still get brain free. So I had to eat it real slow. But it was so good. And like I said, this will fill me up. And yeah, yeah, you can eat I have a tendency to eat ice cream just a little too fast. So even the one I make, so but I want to get it down before it gets, you know, melts on me and like water. But this won't melt right away, I don't think. It's it's pretty thick right now. You know, it's got yeah, see it doesn't really come off the spoon. So it's it's good for right now. But I decided to do a short periscope to show you what my ice cream looks like, and, and I'm, I'm glad that you could come in and see it, because we all need to start living healthy, and like Stacey says, live well and be strong, because we uh, we got to learn to to uh, get by on, on what God gave us in the garden, instead of 
um, putting a lot of sugar and stuff in our in our foods. So I thank you all for coming in. And oh, hi, Dolores. I didn't see you there. Welcome, welcome. Um, in case you didn't hear what my ice cream man and I'll tell you again, it has mangoes, papaya, strawberry, and pineapple, plus the um, one one organic banana and a uh, frozen bananas as well. So that's what you, uh, it has in it. And, I, and it's actually very delicious. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I don't want to make this a lengthy scope because I don't want it um, starting to melt on it. But I'll go ahead and eat it now. And um, um, well, I don't know how good it's going to be by the time you go to eat it for lunch because you're going to have to put it in the freezer or something. Although I will tell you this, I have been told, and I haven't done it yet, but I have been told that the ice cream that you make yourself freezes up very, very hard. It is harder than what you buy at the store, and you almost have to take a chisel and a hammer to get it apart, to get it, to use it. So that's why I haven't frozen it yet. So, um, but and if you're going to take it at work, you're going to have to have it in a cooler of some sort with ice or something, because if you don't, it's going to melt on you. Oh, I will. I will, Lisa, and you all enjoy your evening. And I thank you for coming in and, and sharing with your followers. And I hope you all have a good night or good day, wherever you might be. Take care. God bless and bye-bye.